Did you ever wonder um, how life on Earth all began? In this lesson, we will briefly outline the early conditions of life on land and in the atmosphere. We want to do this to get a better understanding of how um, evolutionary processes work. Um, so, to start, um, let's begin with land. Um, about 4.6 billion years ago, the Earth was essentially uh, molten rock. There was no life on Earth. And this rock was essentially very hot. Uh, ultimately, it, um, gravity helped to, to uh, form this rock core. And after about 500 million years after that, a solid crust formed on the Earth's surface. And this crust was also extremely hot. After many, many years passed, oceans formed. These oceans formed because the Earth eventually cooled, and as it did so, liquid water formed on the surface. Science estimate that the first forms of life appeared on the planet about one billion years ago. Back then, atmospheric conditions were very different. It's important to remember that the atmosphere was composed of essentially four molecules water, hydrogen, methane, and ammonia. Also, the climate was extremely different. There was a great deal of lightning, UV radiation, and there was little or no oxygen. These conditions helped us understand potentially, or at least develop theories about how the first organic molecules were created. We'll talk about that in another video. But now I just want to talk very briefly about um, one hypothesis about how the first life on Earth about a billion years ago may have formed and also what it may have looked like. So the first um, maybe life on Earth, according to scientists, might have been uh, a heterotroph, something that uh, needs food to survive, cannot, con cannot produce its own food. So it's a consumer. And this, uh, these heterotrophs, probably one-celled organisms, um, used other gases besides oxygen, which we obviously well use today, to synthesize energy. So remember, there was no oxygen on the planet. Eventually, heterotrophs um, were not consuming enough nutrients to survive because the environment didn't have enough to supply. They couldn't keep up. So ultimately, scientists proposed that um, there was a new mechanism, autotrophs, um, which are producers. These one-celled organisms ultimately, you know, potentially made their own food. They did not look like plants. They were probably one-celled, but I'm making a plant-like structure here. Um, and these early, early autotrophs evolved, um, and really importantly, uh, evolved. Not only did this help heterotrophs and supply more food for heterotrophs, but autotrophs, their waste product was oxygen. So oxygen, as it turned out, became a very efficient way to produce energy in both autotrophs and heterotrophs. And these organisms, as oxygen uh, developed in the atmosphere, um, ultimately thrived. And today, our atmosphere is made of, you know, mostly nitrogen and oxygen. And our dominant organisms are oxygen-dependent organisms. <laughs> 